So here's a, an early version of GPSJ running on a, an ancient Nokia 6630. Start the app. We'll select a image to display. And you see that every file access I get prompted. Do I want to allow read or write access? This is uh, because I didn't sign the app. It was a bit of a barrier really, so I, I couldn't really be bothered going, jumping through all the hoops to get the app signed. So I just put up with this problem. Ah, in the wrong directory. Confirm only. Okay. There you go. So there's the map. Then we've got some options to make the full, put full screen on. Add guidance points, control points for the map. The map's a, an OS photograph, an OS map that you can register by adding these control points. Uh, the control points are best placed on grid line intersections, and you can read off the, the eastings and northings and enter them into the into Jeep into the app, and the app will register the map. So therefore, so once that's done, you can show your GPS position on the map. So we'll just select the GPS source, Bluetooth or NMEA. So we'll just simulate a, a route with NMEA. To work. Oops, sorry. And there we see green satellite dish indicates we've got a GPS fix. And we can see the green transparent icon showing the GPS position. That's GPS Jake, we're on a really old phone.